if you do take all, all the suffering and everything, like, wait a minute, like we think we're going to be happy when all the suffering and struggles are gone, but not realizing, no, man, if you completely remove that, you would not be happy. And then it kind of makes you grateful of like this weird, you know, aha moment of like, wait, the suffering and the pain and the struggles, like, you know, it's kind of necessary. <laughs> like, For sure, man. I mean, you can't know what's good if you don't know what's bad. I mean, no one's ever gone forward and done great things without a bit of struggle, right? Like people, and I guess it's, you know, society tells us, oh, it's all so easy. It's all about struggle and growth, I think, in the end. You know, and all this stuff that we talk about, it's just, you know, to make the ride interesting, right? Because, I mean, that's that's the thing, like, are we ever even going to know? Like, well, what do you, you're, you're a remote viewer and, a, and an astrologer. What do you what do you think? Like twenty twenty four, here we are. There's been a lot of talk about it. Like you know, all these all these um, powers look like they're starting to fall. I, I've been just over the last couple of days. Um, all, all these media companies are, have announced that they're just sacking all all their journalists. I think Sports Illustrated sacked every single journalist that worked for them. Really? Um, and, and all these other, yeah yeah yeah, and all these other newspapers are. They're just laying off all their workers, and you know, it could be linked to AI. I don't know, but yeah, what do you what do you think is going to happen this year? So well, I've like, been traveling around the world. Everyone tells me. I'm oh man, internationally. Oh gosh, I really want to go in April with you guys. That sounds amazing. Um, the thing is, is this huge, huge transit is Pluto went into Aquarius, so. The last time Pluto transited in uh, Aquarius was like it coincided with the French Re Revolution. So there was dramatic shifts in um, power and social Crazy. structures. Yeah, man. Off of the heads. So, so be prepared to expect like changes, mm -hmm. significant changes really in, in how power is distributed and exercised and especially within communities and, and technologies, it's going to be it like, and it's going to like the collectively is going to um, be challenged to adapt to these. And like, basically there's going to be so much increase in energy, increase in data, and it's going to be dizzying. That's why, I mean, like I do hypnosis regression sessions and I do astrology charts and I, and I'm not just promoting this, um, to get, you know, to get clients in business, but in these energies, like knowing who you are, where you've been, it helps know, ground you in these energies. Cause there's going to be massive amounts of data coming in and changes. And it's going to feel like people are going to be dizzy where, you know, um, the, it, it's going to be like harder to ground. There's going to be such changes. So like, especially with AI and technologies and we're going to feel that. But the thing is, is with the what's coming up in April and those transits, we're talking about there's so much opportunity to make businesses that like, this is the kind of weather that like billionaires are made in like millionaires because you're seeing the opportunity. You're going to be seeing things much further along. Like you're going to be thinking quantumly, you know, of like how things, but if I do this or if I, you're much more conscious of if I hang out with this person, like, ooh, my life will go in that direction. Like much more consciously aware of if I do business with this person or this is the kind of thing I want to get behind. I don't just want to push a product that's hurting people and and seeing opportunities of the water thing. Okay, let me get into a filtration of water system. Like, oh, in California, they're going to tap to tap to toilet to tap water. Like, let me, okay, oh, like, let me get filtered. Let me... <laughs> start a home, like seeing those changes and seeing, oh, I see what's happening. And so I see solutions, you know? And so um, there's going to be mm. like this, it, it's, it's basically requiring the collective of what needs to be purged, right? Like what needs to be purged and cleansed. And um, so we're going into some really interesting energies where uh, people have had it too, like of where it's like, I go to the doctor, I get the runaround, I get this, I get that. They're not 
you know, the blood work, they're not telling me this. I'm not getting answers. My government, it, it, like, really have had it with certain certain things with the government yeah, yeah, yeah. and medically. Yeah. And, yep. and just, yeah, so that's, so get grounded and, and be prepared, man. It's going to get wild. Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. Like, I think, you know, like I say, I think the biggest thing we're going to need to work on is responding, right? Respondability responsibility like because stuff's just going to change and we're going to have to be able to change with it i think you know those who are stuck in the in their spot and don't want to ch- like i think they're going to kind of get steamroll all right so the willow tree right when there's strong winds you know the hard wood cracks but the willow bends and flows with Dude, the it. willow tree is my favorite i love that you said that yeah it, it's adaptable man it flows with the wind <laughs> <laughs> while you still can't, you know, and so you know the difference of what you're plugging into. So when you meditate and when you do things, you know, you're not like connecting to like a mechanical field. Right. Um, And, Mm. and implementing that it's really going to come in handy of, of what, of, of having your protocol and, and having your spiritual outlet and connecting to nature and meditating and, and having your process. It's really going to come in handy. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And you know, everyone keeps saying that hey, they're over the government, they're over the you know, they don't want to be told what to do. And so, I guess if you want that, you've got to start being responsible, right? <laughs> can't lean on the government to come and save you. You can't lean on the supermarkets. But I mean, for everything, we're so dependent. They've got us so dependent that um, we're, we're just very controllable. So the less dependent you are, the less controllable you are. So I think. Um, unplug right in, in as many ways as we can yeah absolutely i mean i'm always like you know how do you govern yourself like you want to heal the world it starts at home you know with yourself with you and then it ripples to your family and then your community and it ripples out and if everyone does that like hello we have a healed world you know and and how you do one thing is how you do everything so like in instilling like the kind of change you want to see with your government like govern yourself right you know um and that's you know very helpful but yeah the food the food you were supposed to eat for voltage like our bones are piezoelectric and like we're supposed to eat for voltage Voltage. and and we're supposed to eat the rainbow we're supposed to eat the rainbow like your plate should be like oh look there's purple blueberries there's greens like you know, like your plate should be filled with the rainbow. But have you looked into the light diet at all? The light diet? Yeah. What is and that? It talks about it talks about the most important thing we eat is light. And that food's like number nine down the list, you know, sort of light and breath and water and and so it talks it talks about sun gazing and also Ooh. the big one is artificial light you know you get blue blocks and things and how like artificial light affects our circadian rhythms and all these types of things but but basically that they say that if you get your you know your light intake sorted then that that sort of will trump everything else right it, it, um it's that they basically say that's really the only thing you need to focus on so much is the light that you get that you're taking in and food is down the line. But I was just wondering, because obviously Eat the Rainbow, that's a spectrum of different colours and which, you know, because f- uh, fruits and, you know, vegetables take on certain frequencies, don't they? And that's what they reflect back to us. So that's... Right. No, like it, it's reminded me of the biophotons because our bodies like emit, you know, the the light that are biophotons that are like very weak particles of light. I always say like the universe is photonic. Like I made a meme, I made memes about it or whatever, but that, you know, there's these weak particles of light that aren't visible, but to the naked eye, but you could see it through like with special instruments. I believe certain people can see it themselves, like auras and stuff like that are more tapped in, but that the eye itself emits um, light when exposed to ambient photons. So, and in this light has been linked to like, the brain activity and visual perception and the DNA emits biophotons. And they say that there's lights that are able to like, 
basically it, it biophotons plays such a key with um, cell to cell communication. And so like plants, bacteria, human cells, kidney cells, they use biophotons to like transfer energy and information from one part to another. But basically that there's things that can affect it, like, and light completely can, you know, it's like a two way street, light can affect it as well. So it's like pretty mind blowing. The DNA emits light. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, light right become enlightened the enlightened ones you know be like we, we have so many of these sayings right but we well, at least i do you know tend to think of it not as light right especially enlightenment you know you kind of think of it as some mind or spiritual thing but maybe it's literally get get more light in your body right emit more light like absolutely from your I, i'm still trying to um, campbell can you, i'm still trying to wrap my head around that like you can get dna like like a, through the sun, <laughs> like, I mean, uh, vitamin D, not DNA, vitamin D oh, vitamin from the sun, like how you're able hey, to, I did I say D, I said yeah. DNA, but <laughs> yeah. hey, maybe it does, it does affect our DNA, the sun, and that's why yeah. it's so important and why there was all these like sun worshiping groups, right? Maybe we're getting a lot more yeah, well, when I mean, we look at it that's being transferred getting- yeah, yeah, yeah. Like babies kept out of the sunlight don't grow as, as much. They're less healthy. And they even did like a, there was this doctor, I can't remember his name, but he was getting these patients um, with, you know, terminal cancers and stuff. And he it was like a hospice dude. And he was just like, oh, well, just go out and read in the sun, you know. And, and these and that's all they, these people were doing, going out and sitting in the sun and reading. And they all started like having remissions and stuff because, you know, that, that they lock us inside, right, again, under LED lights, all these false lights to the point where they're now trying to ban incandescent bulbs, right, which is the sort of natural orange light spectrum. I mean, gosh, even the sun's white these days. So who knows, right, maybe they get something there. But but light's obviously a very big part of it. And, and if you're not getting the right light, then how, how do you become enlightened? Ooh, Campbell, I love it. I mean, you're talking to somebody that literally looks into particular lights and gets visions, you know what I mean? Like, so, and I've had, I've done some pretty profound things with it. And so you are, preach, Campbell, preach. (laughs) (laughs) Preach it, man, preach it. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it just makes sense, right? Like, because, you know, there's no way that they'd be telling us, you know, that what we need, right? They're trying to, you know, dumb us down and make us weaker. So that's why they push, you know, we can have information that's, you know, ninth and tenth down the list, like diet, exercise, but, you know, water and light and things like that, they're way too up. They affect us way too much. So I'm not supposed to know that stuff, right? But. Uh, then, it becomes, then it becomes so obvious to decode things, right? Like now we're at a point where it's like, oh, well, wait, are they're telling us not to do that? Okay, that means it's good for you. <laughs> like you just invert it <laughs> and flip it upside down. We're like, oh, okay. It's almost to a point where if they recommended yeah. something that is good for our thriving, we'd be like, wait a second. Wait, what? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Go the other way, man. I mean, it, it's... It's as good a, a, you know, theory of life to any, right? Just do the opposite of what you're told. I think you're doing much better than than the majority just doing that. You know, it's crazy. I mean, you can't do the opposite of what Biden says because no one one knows what he says, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. And that's what's crazy, too, to take it back to, like, what that guy with the quantum computer said. You know, he's straight up talking about how, like, summoning that. And and he's like, this is happening in the background while people bicker about politics. Like, you know, like, whoa, look over here. You know, and then now we have, like, the election coming and all that. Yeah, yeah. Have you you looked into that? Like, what are your thoughts on, on, yeah. You know, are, they, are these real people or are they AI projections or are they holograms or are they people with masks on? Because, you know, we have like the pictures of Biden now and the pictures of him back in the 90s and they look like... I've people. come across, like, I've come... Yeah, God, there's a lot... Like, when I went to film that show for Vice about Inner Earth, like, um, I had this location 
they gave me this target and I did it and I came across um like there was all these cloning there was all these like cloning body like clone bodies and bats and stuff and crazy things happened and that I saw and I remember being like driving <laughs> I was like how do I tell this on national television? Like, I can't talk about this stuff, you know, but I've come across like, there's a lot, like cloning has been going on for how, like a long, long time. And yeah, it's nothing new. Well, we've got a, a joined chromosome, right? Which is clearly not natural, right? That, that's what they tell us. You know, and how whole- can, you and know, how can that be that authorized, is- right? Like, who had the author? <laughs> like, wait a second. Who authorized that what? to tinker with our, you know, what? Yeah, yeah. But we have all these stories that that's what happened, right? The whole Enki and Enlil and all these kind of stories of genetically modifying us. But I've, I've started thinking, I've been meaning to do a deep dive for, for ages on it, but blood types, right? Like, how do we have four different blood types and how do we have positive and negative? You know, half of us apparently go back to a, to a rhesus monkey and the other half don't. Like, yes. And what? that's what, and all and the people, the most powerful people here, they're obsessed with what? Genetics. You know, the, Genetics. it's it's always comes down. And, and one gram of DNA holds 455 exabytes of data. That's a lot of data. That's a lot of information. And so wow. what... Yeah. And so it stores, just think. So in one gram of DNA can hold every single song that's been recorded since like the 1800s. <laughs> like, and it's like, but they want you to think that there's such thing in that that's junk DNA. Like, are you kidding me? And nice. then you got the 23, <laughs> you got the 23 and me that was hacked into. Uh, it's really like, oh, so then what can they do yeah, with yeah. that? You don't need much to clone. You really don't. You could get a clone body no. right now in South America for like, I think less than a hundred grand. So, but the spiritual yeah. con, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the spiritual consequences of that, from what I understand, you don't with your clone. You don't. You can know like your creativity. You lose like your connection to God Source. Like you lose certain creativity yeah, and imagination small. abilities and their side effects. And that's just unbelievable. Is that what NPCs are or is that what the, the zombie apocalypse is going to be maybe, right? Like these souls. Did you, did you hear, people. did you see that in Amazon, like what they, how there's like in the agreement, like something about a zombie apocalypse, like pages and pages referring to it. Did you see that? I, yeah, I saw, yeah, I did see something like that about, yeah, like like the contingency plan or something for a zombie apocalypse or some, some weird thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, who knows? Like, I half think, you know, that, yeah, that's probably true. But then I also, the other half is, well, it's all a stage, right? And if I'm seeing it, they probably want me to see it. You know, this, this is building their narrative and they'll release, who knows, right? I mean, it's... It's a strange. It it's a like, strange time to be, right? Like, we're, like. It seems yeah. like they're preventing. They've tried their best. They know it's coming, and it is like a higher consciousness coming. And they didn't want everyone to be able to do that, right? Like, but that there is some type of ascension coming, you know. And and like, why? It seems like it's like somebody using all of their, you know, we, like ammo and weapon, like you know, like. Like it's increasing to like desperate almost like, whoa, 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 wait a second. What's what's coming here? Why? Why are you using all your, your all the arsenal at this time? Like, bam, 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 bam. There must be something coming that you know of. Yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts on a split? Do you, do you think there's a split coming? You know, I mean, this whole sort of new earth concept or, you know, alternate, I guess, frequency reality because. I mean, it just God. doesn't look like we can all go to the same place, right? Like with half the oh, people looking this is like painful. they're going to really into 15 minute cities. Like, I'm not going there. So, yeah, what do you think? Is it, is, I mean, the Vesica Pisces, of course, is what we get when, when two cells separate, right? Two, the, the parting of the seas. 
if you can see to mm. God, this is so painful. I'm trying to think of a way to say this. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> it's like tiptoeing around. Like, let me be creative for a second. There was some type of decision people had to make on a type of thing, right? That in the last few years, everyone's been kind of ver- like split on, right? So it's almost like a parting of the sea. But what I've noticed is, is like those connected to the higher power weren't for that. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, so to me, it's like, in a sense, it was the parting of the seas. And so, oh, it's so painful for me to say. But then I also think about the children that like, wait, they didn't really get a choice, did they? And that's not fair. That is not fair. So, oh, that's painful. But I mean, I guess, you know, not everyone's here to learn the same lesson, right? And, yeah. and I think that we, we just happen to be in that time where there's, you know, a, a percentage of us are ready to leave, right, go on to new adventures. But, but you know, clearly a lot of people down here, you know, haven't learned these lessons and still need to go through the cycle again. So but that's the thing. I can't see that they look like two different realities to me, right? So, right. so is it going to split or is it? I guess that depends again on what what is you know what is this place? What is the world, right? Like, exactly. What really, is this place? And like, where are we? Like, it's, and I um, I wish more people would sell? ask like, what, yeah, what did I do before I came here? <laughs> you know, what did I do? Wow. Where you know, but right. where am I? And what you know what I would love uh, to know so is I, what are the rules? What are the rules? <laughs> I'm still looking for my rule book, man. I mean, God. <laughs> oh, they sent man. me down here. They shafted me. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's that's that saying, right? The game of life is the only game where the rules are to learn what the rules are. I mean, it's, it's just. And it comes down to, like, mean, how teachable are you and is, how are you going to play the cards you're dealt? Like, how, how are you going to play it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think that's it, you know, like. You've got to learn who you are and what you want and what you can do. And, you know, it's all going within, right? Listening to yourself, like, you know, the whole inner journey type thing. Like we hear it all the time, right? We're, we're so yourself, harsh on ourselves and and we have amnesia. It's so crazy how like that, when people are like very critical, I grew up in a family that was like really critical and they were, you know, really harsh and mean. It was funny. You know, they're very like, com- they're like comedians, They, but it was always like, critical and so i get really you know like wait a second like none of us need any help criticizing ourselves there is something about this place every day all day where we're thinking harsh thoughts about ourselves like none of us need any help like we got that covered like okay you know what i mean like uh, we each have that covered and it's a battle literally and so I, i i even have like a light like this that says you know um you are powerful like and we are powerful. The things we could do with our mind is unbelievable. That's why I love covering the information about like the, the, the quantum Zeno effect of the flying monks, the monks that levitate and things that you could do with your mind. And, you know, the fact that bio photon, like come out of your eyes, right? Like, and there's people that have mastered this, there's monks and, you know, there's certain people that have taken it to the next level and, there's things you could do. The remote viewing is is astounding. And, and there's remote influencing where you could change. There's evidence that have shown remote viewers coming together and they were able to um, change the stock market. Now, imagine coming, you know, people that do that with their minds and their field that are able to change um, things that of like that, like agendas that are being used against us in certain things like that we need to combat those and but coming together activating these gifts and abilities and coming together like the care bears you know (laughs) care bears stare but like (laughs) uh, we are powerful and realizing like you're powerful you can do it and uh and and coming together and and getting you know getting creative and, and doing something instead of thinking terrible thoughts about ourselves, thinking we can't do it or not wanting to do the work to get that. Like, listen, we're out of time. All right. Like we need to get it together. Like get some solutions, mm. come together like quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. And 
it's definitely moving towards a more community based you know reality as far as i can see it more just community like you know one-on-one -on -one interaction basically the exact opposite right to, to what that they want and what they're promoting so yeah man community i think is the way to go you know i think you know left to our own devices we've got all the answers anyway right it wouldn't take that long to, to get all the free energy and all the you know water cleaning yeah. tech and everything out and all this kind of stuff i think that's um, what's so significant but, about the tartarian information is that's why it I, to me it hits different like i made a presentation about tartaria a few years ago and i was like i got really fired up because i'm like god it, it connects lots of dots but then when you see you look around and you have the aha moment of like wait a second these buildings are already wired for this like it's already set up to you know to, to go off of free energy and, and wait our bodies could thrive like through sound, you know, through sound and frequency and like, you know, it, it's hopeful, but also realizing too of like, we're a bunch of orphan, you know, it's like the orphan trains, the or orphan kids we've forgotten, you know, and seeing like, oh, a few generations ago, like, oh, it really hasn't been bad for, you know, too long. We've, we've kind of been in the dark ages recently, but seeing like, getting to the roots of like, oh, they were advanced and they were wise and indigenous. And this was, you know, this was, a, you know, a global unified civilization you know, that uh, that those epiphanies of like, oh, wow, it's really possible. It's empowering. Of It's empowering to look into mm -hmm. your genetics, your DNA. It's empowering to feel like you can actually do something about it. You know, of like these buildings are wired to do this. Like, you know, if each person has a key coming together and unlocking those like keys like like wow we actually have a chance huh yeah yeah i, I agree and that's why i like you know the history you know or whatever you want to call it angle so much is it's you know most rabbit holes are, are, are depressing right <laughs> i just tell you how bad stuff is but at least with, you know, Tartara, it's like, well, you know, look what we used to be able to do. You know, we can get back there. You know, we had all this stuff. We, we were doing it properly. So, you know, let's let's do that again. You know, we've got somewhere to work towards now. And, and, and it makes more things possible, right? It makes free energy possible. It makes, you know, like clean water possible. It makes communities possible. It makes all these things possible where most other rabbit holes are like, oh, no, you know, we're stuffed. We're stuff, we're right. control, prison planet, which is where they want us. Because, I mean, I still think that ultimately they can't create much, right? We're the creators. And and so they just use all their effort trying to get us to create what they want. That's why there's so much emphasis on the news and Yeah, know, the media our subconscious and mind is like 30,000 times more powerful. So if they, that's why they're trying to direct whoever, that's what the real timeline war is. If you want certain timelines to happen, all you got to do is entertain, is get, is control and influence humans' subconscious mind. If you can direct that, you are like, it, it, you are going to direct where things go, right? Of that, that yeah. because it's so much more powerful. And so the guarding your ears and your eyes are important, you know, because there's things you could put it in a sigil and that your butt, there's things that your mind, your subconscious mind absorbs that you're not even aware your conscious mind doesn't even know, you know? Mm. Oh, totally, man. I mean, yeah, our subconscious and it's the, the great trickster as well. Right. So it gets full up of all this stuff and then it just, it's that that tricky voice and you know that the plays around and tells you you can't, can't do stuff and distorts things but that's what they attack because you know that it's like you know songs right everyone's in knows what an affirmation is and they're all yeah affirmations woo -woo. but that's what a song is right so so you know imagine what they're doing with all this you know the, the rap kind of stuff you know the, the not so nice lyrics all the stuff the pop stuff that they're, they're giving to young girls and all, you know, they're all dancing around. Absolutely. Singing these. There's, there was ways there's healing. Um, sound alchemy is a thing. And there was like in the rainforests and, and certain shamanic groups and um, certain cultures, there's certain songs knowing there's certain healings you could do through em emitting certain tones. It's a real, it's a real thing. In fact, I have a video with uh, talking to dark star that basically talks about how 
he was, there was this guy in um, South America who was like a killer and because he grew up in this like horrendous barrio there and it was just a re- really rough down there. And then he moved to the rainforest and the shamans taught him like, you know, this the healing and he became a healer, like a really advanced healer. He was instructed to find certain people around the world to get together. And this guy, Darkstar, um, I call him, he was, um, he was found, an albino man showed up and basically told him like, you need to come with us. And it's this crazy story. If you want to, you could listen to it. But um, to to summarize it, he he goes and, you know, you take him to these people like in Oregon and they have like an ayahuasca ceremony. But what did, what did they do? They had these people from around the world, a couple from Siberia, China, all these people that this guy was instructed to go get with an albino. And they get them together and they have these ayahuasca ceremonies. But what were they taught? They were taught um, these healing songs. And certain healing modalities with when it comes to singing, it was it was that's how it was taught orally. And the and the songs were very, very important. It was like there's gonna come a day where you're gonna need this. But also he also grew up with this group of really gifted individuals. And one of them's like kind of like turned out to be like a local legend from where I grew up. And uh, he had gifts and abilities and basically um he would go into, he would sneak into the hospital um, and to the kids ICU and put his hands on them and it would heal them. And uh, basically they say he cured like, uh, I think like 26 different cancers. Well, when he was 30, he got diagnosed with like 26 different cancers. Like as as many of that he healed, he he got cancer. But uh, anyway, so Dark Star was at a location when they had a friend who's like took a turn for the worse and they had that guy show up and he said that he put his hand on him and made this sound like made this healing sound and then he said it smelled like burnt skin and then the guy started throwing up black liquid like this black liquid but that it healed the guy so anyways that guy ended up passing away he was trained by this um like i forget the name of the tribe that um, this American Indian tribe and, and, but I don't know if he just, if he was doing this without authorization or if they didn't train him on how, once he, once he healed, he didn't know how to let it go. Like he absorbed it, but the songs are important. The sound alchemy and you see these spots with the, with the organ and all of that. Like it's knowing in what order to play these notes and it's, you know, we've, we've forgotten, right? Like we've forgotten, but yeah, the song. So now you see of like what humanity subconscious is listening to via frequency, via these songs and like, oh, wow, mm. that's a huge, you know, that's. that's <laughs> yeah. I remember back in, back in the eighties, like with all the, you know, all the metal bands, like all their t-shirts are always like skulls and death and that. And I was just always like, oh, I, don't, I don't know about that stuff. And then you listen to the lyrics and you're like, oh, my God. But it, it is, man. I mean, look, look at the cathedrals, right, with choirs and organs and things, you know, and Gregorian chants and all these things that we're using song or the human voice at least and frequency to, to heal us as far as we can work out. It was all about healing that and that's why they've taken you know the whole 432 to 440 hertz but i mean look at look at you know bands today right we used to have orchestras you know like 50 100 piece orchestras and now we've got someone on auto tune with a synthesizer behind them it's crazy (laughs) man mumbling mumbling saying like horrific things oh yeah yeah like tune whatever (laughs) out right i mean i still remember god like way back I remember the Brady Bunch, you're probably way too young for that, but there was this episode and and like the oldest kid, Greg, he like somehow like got into a, like a recording, you know, contract and it sort of goes through this thing and as he's going through, they keep changing, you know, like they change his clothes and then his hair and then at the end they change his voice. They like fully auto tune him and he's at the end, he's like, I don't get it. That's not like, what did you need me for? And they're like, oh, well, you, you fitted the suit. <laughs> mm. you, you fitted the suit we had and then we just change everything else right which is and that that was made back in the early 70s i think but that's what we get right that's literally they just get someone who's got the look that they want and that will sell out and they do the rest man they can change whatever they can write the lyrics change the 
boys, you know, dress them up, do all the stuff just to get their message out. So it's. That's what I heard about Future. I heard uh, the rapper Future that they were like casting for him, like that they like already had the the, the music and everything already put out. It was just like, all right, like who are you going to cast, right? Like everything was already decided. Yeah, I think that's what they do, right? And that's, I mean, it's all coming out now. Did you, have you seen that Cat Williams, was it the Cat Williams interview that went mad, like, like went crazy and he's trying he's exposing all the hip-hop stuff and i feel like like internet i feel like everybody's like getting their cat their cat williams on this year where they're gonna be like what yeah no like (laughs) to the toxic people in their community and environment and families like no more like no more of me being quiet about this like i've had it i've had it Mm. yeah i hope so man it'll be fun it'll be funny to see all the triggered people i'm into that um, um, you know, a bit of disclosure is always good. I feel like oh, we're I'm coming into a time. I've been saying, I've been saying this for a while. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I like that we're coming into a time of like instant karma. Like the energies are thinner to where like it w- it used to take like a decade or sometimes longer for things to really notice a difference where people get away with being yeah. toxic. So it's like, but the deceit, the scamming, the hustling, the lying, like the blowback of it. It's so much faster. And and so that makes me hopeful. And it, that's very interesting is like, you're going to see people kind of throwing fits. Like I used to be able to lie, cheat, steal, hustle, you know, um, but they're, they're seeing this and they're not able to get away with it. it or, you know, like, wait, wait a second. And so you yeah. see pe- tantrums or, you know, and behaving a certain way of their response of, because that's the only way that's what they've known. So they keep trying to, to continue on that way. And it's like, not in these energies, bruh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I totally agree. You know, so it's, you know, it's a good point. Like, be careful what you think because I think we're manifesting our own lives as well a lot quicker, you know, we're manifesting stuff into it. But but it's the apocalypse, right? The unveiling, the lifting of the unveiling. veil. Well, that's, that's what we've been told and, and that's what we're seeing. And it's not necessarily that, you know, like, the medical system's worse now and the politicians are worse now and all this. It's just that they've always been that bad. We're just seeing it now, right? It's just it's just much more obvious now to the point where that you can't even ignore it. So I think it's great. Man, I've been wanting this system to fall for ages and now it looks like it's actually happening. So I, I think it's it's great. And like you said before, it's it's an opportunity, right? Like for like how many new businesses do we need, right? We need millions. Or see, oh, yeah, of seeing too, so like why is sugar, time. why is sugar and everything? Like seeing c- certain solutions of like, wow, man, like we need a line of sauces or a line of this that doesn't have sugar in it. Or let me put monk fruit. Let me come up with some alternatives. Like, you know, I love seeing those stories of people of, of how fast their company grew uh, of, of making like healthier alternatives and how quickly it erupted. Like we need a lot of solutions especially in that and in, in the food you know in the food and water industry that will can propel you make you successful yeah. and heal when you come from a place of healing like it's like the the parting of the seas like things will get out of will get will move mountains to help you facilitate that because you have thousands of ancestors behind you I have thousands of, so we have thousands of ancestors. So when you come from a point that can help heal them in their line, like it, it's, you're move, you're working with a different force. You're working with like this benevolent force. And so coming from a place of healing and, and, and making it to where you could profit from that and be abundant with that on top of that, like, that sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what it's going to, you know, that's where we're going, right? People are, it's, it's just so obvious now, you know. It's like the, the chocolate bars are like this big now, and they used to be, you know, three times as big and half the price. And you know, everything you buy, right? Furniture is, a, is just flimsy crap that just breaks, and all this. It's just, it's just so obvious that yeah. I mean, we need replacements for everything, whatever, and and healing, you know, like ancestral healing, healing in any sense. Like that's. You can find a way to, to help people help themselves. I mean, that's that's really a big way forward. But also all these alternative, 
you know, energy sources and way to, ways to, you know, cook and eat and have water and everything. I mean, it's, it's great, right? We can reinvent the whole thing, right? Like flip, flip the game board over. Yeah, I like it. I always say um, do something physical every right. day and do something creative every day and just really it just we really got to tap into our uh, creative mind to create. We got a lot of creating we got to do. We do, man, and oh my god, it's so crazy! Like all these, like on YouTube and everyone's just copying each other. Have you noticed this? The echo these, chamber. These reaction <laughs> videos, and all these. echo chamber, so bad, and it's like that's the last thing we need, man. Like, like give the world your thoughts. You, know, we're all a piece of the puzzle, right? We've all got our unique perspective. You know, we've all got something to add, but so many people discount themselves right and and they just show other people's content like it's crazy like you know on tiktok they'll just sit there and like go mm -hmm. and it's just oh the pointing j dreamers just, talks about that like j dreamers yeah. is like i can't stand yeah. it when somebody has a video and they're just pointing like that like he's like don't do <laughs> no. it's, oh it's, my god it's crazy right I'm like, it's stealing other people's like content and just replaying it it's it's mad and then so people think just because it's on the internet that it's it's not you know the media news it's not fake news but, but i mean you know come on like there's so much fake crap on the on the internet now on youtube it's worse than tv used to be but they've got everyone thinking it's alternative right it's oh it's not it's the alternative news I love that. Like the highest frequency, we're always told like the highest frequency is love, right? There's no other high frequency, which is true in a sense, right? But like above that is like authenticity. Being authentic, being you is even higher than love and love's the highest. Like, whoa. Like, so there's a reason why you're you. Like facilitate that, showcase that, show yourself like doing what you're doing because borrowing or stealing or trying to um duplicate like they're, they're you're you for a reason man like be authentic and then like that's that's profound like that's the highest frequency mm. yeah man like you can't be anyone else you might as well be yourself right you know why be a copy when you're gonna be an original i agree that's what we've got to get over right just, just understand that, that you are good enough as it is. You don't need to do anything. Yes. You might be already there. I still get into my head over things or like absolutely where like because you're taught sometimes like because what happens is like just society kind of teaches you like, you know, when you love or certain things that you get hurt, you know, or you're, you're yourself. And then when people make fun of that and it hurts you, it makes you not want to. But like. There's power in no longer caring that of like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like the people that don't believe I can remove you, I'm like, sweet, man, you're one less, but then you are not for me. Like, don't subscribe to me. Don't follow me. I don't want your energy. <laughs> like, no, please, like one less thing I got to worry about. Like, because the ones that know, they'll know I am not for everyone and accepting that and kind of finding it. That's like a good thing. You know, that's it. It's a good thing. It's like a rare gem. And that's okay. Not everyone's going to like you. So that I think that's like we come from a place of like, I want everyone to love me, you know? And being like, whoa. That's a no, yeah, you don't. Well, <laughs> no, no, you don't, right? And I, you know, if you're not getting kickback and, and all this kind of stuff, well, you're not being authentic enough as far as I'm concerned, because like if you're getting if you're agreeing with everyone then there's no way that you're being you know yourself you're just being like a, a pushover to everyone and just like you know pretending that and to, to to please people but so yeah if you're not getting kickback and people calling you a shill and all this then <laughs> yeah go inside man yeah i felt like a lot of people this thing, I, I felt like it was a big problem with a lot of people where they're attracted to people that reject them or that they're that aren't into them. It's like because a lot of us like reject ourselves, like we we you know, we we don't fully love ourselves wholly. You know, there's things that we're like, it's never good enough. Like we're not pretty enough, we're not this enough, that enough, this enough, whatever, you know. So we 
attract that in our external world because it's going on in our internal world, you know, the macro as above as below. So like people seeing like and accepting and valuing themselves or who and what they are and how they are and like, you know, and then demanding that in the relationships in their world of like, dude, yeah, I deserve that. Or like, I don't deserve to be with someone that's cheating on me or, you know, not valuing me or constantly diminishes me or cuts me down or verbally abuse or whatever, mm-hmm. emotional abuse, like of, of, of realizing like I deserve love and I deserve it from someone that values me and I'm going to start valuing myself. Like, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of that too like a shift, big time shift of yeah, like yeah. no longer tolerating that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, to everyone out there, that's yeah, you, you shouldn't be tolerating that, you know, live in your power. Don't put up with people that are putting you down and all this kind of stuff, you know, it's like, a, like what they say, it's no longer dating anymore. It's um, you're finding a partner you can go to the apocalypse with. Right. Like, so it's like, you know, you are going to want to have fun yeah. too. <laughs> Like there, so if it comes, you're also having fun and being treated well, you know, right? (laughs) Find an adventure partner, you know, like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's crazy. There's so much going on. Like, I get all these videos constantly about basically dudes like putting down women, right? Like, and and I understand a lot of the, the younger generation have sort of got different ways shall we say but it's it's crazy right like like that's like a big thing and i'm thinking you know there's you know sure you can commentate but there's turned into like this this whole like women hating thing and then obviously it's the same you know from feminists and they hate men and all men and especially white men are useless so it's you know there's so much propaganda coming at us to stop people finding their their adventure buddy right that yeah right they say that the frequency i love that I love that information of like that concept of, you know, there's like a star, you look up, you see every star has like an A and a B and thinking like you have a divine partner. Like I I like to think of like when your soul goes through enough lifetimes or whatever, when it gets to a certain level, part of the ascension is finding your divine half and coming together and your purposes are normally tied together. And then, but what happens is that emits, you know, there's some theory that the 144,000 are like all the the twin souls that are on Earth and they need to come together and be in yeah, their purpose and emit. Or whatever. And that like mm. uh, that there's that many couples or whatever. And then y- you get into your purpose path and that it, like that Akhenaten and Nefertiti were that type of person and the way that it emitted and changed the community. And, you know, it became a, a monotheistic God okay. and that they it changed the crops and the entire dynamic of the community, but that there's basically supposed to be like, you know, several twins throughout the world that you're supposed to do that. And then it's like, well, if you say that is something that occurs, like, and if there was a force that didn't want that to happen, you would, you know, put a lot of temptation everywhere, right. To like prevent these people from developing, to find each other, to, you know, choose that. Right. Yeah, of like. like interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, right? I like to I like to flirt with it. I like to philosophize, Campbell, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Philosophy's cool, right? I need to get back into my, my Campbellosophy. I haven't done any of that for a while, but I used to put that up on my spiral up channel. I mean, and, and this is, you know, people just don't contemplate enough, right? Because there's people, because I like to theosophize. I, I literally, my ideal day would be to train like a warrior, and to sit around a steam room with like Socrates and Plato and then eat like a warrior afterward, like just totally have like an meat, ama- like just have amazing food. But then, you know, and then other things, but like to sit around and like philosophize like in a steam room with Plato and Socrates, like, well, what about this? Like, cause guess what? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So, you know, and from what I understand, imagine um, we think when we're done here and we graduate and we ascend, Like that we'll know what God is, but that imagine like if you put it in levels of like 3D, 4D, 5D, like imagine like 15D, they're still like, I don't know. I don't really know what God is for sure. Like I have a lot more questions though. Like there's a lot I, you know, I've gathered and learned, but I also, 
you'd be surprised like of thinking like, oh man, there's a lot that's not known by very advanced, you know, levels. Yeah, man. Questions are much better than answers. I agree. I yeah, say it all the time. Like everyone thinks it's that it's all in the answers, right? But it's not. It's in the questions. And, and you clearly can't get the right answer if you don't have the right question. So, I mean, it's like, every, like we said before, everything they've taught us is inverted and upside down. We've got to like look at everything different, like, like just everything. And then, and then drop all their BS, you know, of, of what they think of us and... Because you know, we all got hammered with the whole self-esteem thing, and you know, all these you got to live up to all these you know silly expectations, and you know, I, I think the only expectation we really should live up to is our expectations of ourselves, right? Right. I know. It. I feel like I'm here to remind a lot of people like how powerful they are and things that they could do, and kind of be an example of it. I think that's why. I was always really um, aggressively guided, not that I'm not allowed to read tarot cards and that I'm not allowed to do hallucinogenics. And I was always like, why? Like, I didn't get it, really. But I think it's because the visions I've had and the things that I've, I'm able to do and have done, I think it's like being the example of being the example and showing like, dude, you don't need, like, you don't have to smoke DMT to do that or like ayahuasca, like, or you don't have to use tarot. There's a way to do this organically and um and and that's important but yeah i feel like i'm here to like plant some seeds of consciousness and like help people remind them how powerful they are nice nice yeah i kind of feel the same i think there's a few of us out there you know and and you know i think everyone's got something to share you know i think everyone out there sitting around you know thinking oh what, what what's my whatever what's my calling Oh, um, Campbell, I love is. watching you. You are like totally the exact, you have a total powerful role in consciousness. Like you are so powerful, especially looking at your birth chart. I can't wait to do, we got to do your birth chart. But like looking over, I was like, oh my God, he's like so, and you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And that's so inspiring for me and for many. And you were like, so made to be doing what you're doing. I'm so appreciative of the difference that you're making in everyone. Like, oh my gosh, you're really like you, you're, I'm super proud of you. And it's an honor to even know you and to be on your show. So thank you, Campbell. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Yeah. I think that's all we can do, right? Is, is try and teach by example, like whatever we, we think the answer is, try and be it. Whatever you want to do, start doing it. And, and you know, obviously I talk a bit, but, it, but it's not in telling people what to do. It's in showing them what can be done, I think. You know, we, we can't change people, but we can inspire them, right? So, yes, thank you. That, that's kind of, yeah, that's, a, again, I don't know how I ended up here. I didn't mean to start a YouTube channel, but something happened and here we are <laughs> 40 years later. And people hear that in your voice. Like I always talk about how people's the sound of their voice. Like you could be reading a, you know, a nursery rhyme, but there's truth. Like there's things that get unlocked within and that our DNA absorbs that, you know, so in your voice and there's power and authority in what you say. Well, Go Campbell. <laughs> Thank you, Campbell. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Wow. All right. We've been rabbiting on for almost two hours. So so maybe we'll put this, this one, uh, we'll end this chat and um, yeah, you know, happy to have another one and you'll have to do my, my, my charts and, and let me know why I'm, why I'm so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me, Campbell. Uh, thank you for coming on. And um, yeah, if you want to check out Julie's other work, link below. She's got lots of interesting uh, interviews on her channel. Go and support her. And um, thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Remember in the end, nobody wins unless everybody wins. Come on!